Hi, I'm Yong Jae Yu, a postdoctoral researcher at McGill University. This work was done during my PhD study under the supervision of Professor Sungmun Choi at Postech. In this study, we investigated the perception of electrode adhesive friction stimuli, especially in the free exploration context. That was motivated by our previous work, Touch Poro, which allows visually impaired users to take pictures and understand the contents using audio and haptic stimuli. For the design of touch poros haptic interaction, we'd need some perceptual backgrounds on electroadhesive friction stimuli. Thus, we set two research questions as follows. The first is about the spatial resolution of two friction components, and the second is about numerosity judgment. With 16 participants, we conducted two experiments to answer these questions. We used an electrocapacitive panel and an IR frame attached to an LCD monitor, providing haptic stimuli and tracking the user's fingertip. A multipurpose DAQ on a computer controls the signal output. The first experiment investigated the gap detection threshold. We used one up, two down adaptive staircase method. The gap width between two invisible haptic lines was adjusted during the staircase. Results showed that the threshold were about 3 to 5 millimeters with a large deviation. The line width was the only significant factor. There's no difference between the results of sighted and visually impaired participants. The second experiment investigated numerosity judgments. In each trial, 1 to 10 invisible horizontal or vertical haptic lines were presented on the surface and the users were asked to count them and answer. Results showed that the participants tended to miss one or more lines if the number of lines exceeded seven. Frequency showed a significant effect, but the scanning direction didn't. There's no difference between sighted and visually impaired participants' results. The results seem to be related to temporal masking. If two or more percepts happens within a very short interval, they affect each other, causing perceptual errors. Here's our takeaway. We investigated the perception of electroadhesive friction stimuli in a free exploration context. By summarizing our research, we can say it's better to keep the surface simple and separate haptic cues over 10 millimeters even in the free exploration context. Thank you.